ding do 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 Movie night. Movie night. <coughs> for our movie, um... Delicatation. For your movie delicatation, it's, um... Sherlock Holmes, dressed to kill. He's doing it for a thrill, and he's dressed for the kill. And we're gonna get the bill. Mill. So yeah, hey -o. welcome. We're about to start the movie. Uh, I had a poll, but we had a three-way tie, so and um... When the, uh, let me give you the image so you can, you know, see the three-way tie. As you can see, we had a three-way tie. So I let the, um, well, we had a four-way tie. So I let the, uh, Gods of Smash decide. And, uh, Sherlock Holmes won. As you can, uh, see from the funny haha -ha moments of my CPU buddies. So, <laughs> I've never seen this movie I don't know nothing about it. Uh, I'll try to keep quiet. Keep my ass down. By walls of granite. Walls of granite, you say? Balls of steel. They say you could get out of here by merely telling what you know. You may or may not be another Scotland Yard bloke. I'll give you the same answer I gave the others. I still have two years, eight months, and six days left in which to make musical boxes. That'll be sold at auction for the benefit of this delightful sanctuary. And I intend to serve them. Well, good for you, sir. Move along. And now we come to the next object on our list, or I should say objects, because there are three of them. Now, ladies and gentlemen, these can be bought together or separately. Now, these but beautiful little will it be time to do all this morning, and I didn't intend to put them on the auction. Duel, 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 duel. So, good friends, as our old pal Mark Anthony used to say, lend me your ears. And what do you hear? Right. The beautiful tinkle tinkle of a musical box. It's time to duel. What a lovely trinket. What a beautiful gift. Created and made by loving hands. A thing of beauty and utility. I was going to start with five pounds. It's a bargain, five pounds. Do I see any hands? Is it a connoisseur in the house of gold? Three pounds for it? Three pounds. pounds? One pound. I could get cocaine for that kind of money. Ten shillings. Ten, ten shillings. Ladies and gentlemen, ten shillings is offered for a musical box you couldn't buy anywhere in London for less than five pounds. <laughs> It'll be stealing to let it go for ten shillings. Like taking milk from a baby. All right, we're selling for ten shillings. Ten shillings, ten shillings is offered, ten shillings is offered, ten shillings is offered. Is anybody give me one pound? Bring me one pound. I want someone to give me a pound. Uh, a pound, one pound is offered, one pound is offered, ladies and gentlemen, one pound is offered against you, sir. Have you got a two pounds? We got a two pounds, sir. But will they give two them pounds. Two pounds is up, two pounds is up, a pound of flesh? Turn the last call. Sold to the gentleman for two pounds. Sorry, my dear. Now, ladies and gentlemen, comes the People opportunity the auction to purchase assured me that the exact this was an auction. Of the beautiful little musical box just bought by this gentleman for the ridiculous low yeah. price. Yeah, how are you today, pounds. Cosby? I hope I it's exactly fine. Exactly the same. Exactly the same. Maybe I the just same had hands. some pizza for dinner. That? Isn't that lovely? A tinkle, 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 tinkle. <laughs> Sounds like Bob Else to me, you know, with the angels pulling on the ropes, eh? <laughs> we'll give me two pounds for it. Who's starting with two pounds? Will anybody start with two pounds? But where's Sherlock Holmes, and why is he dressed to kill? You know, from your enthusiasm, we might all be in Scotland instead of London. Please buy it for me, Daddy. Two pounds, certainly not. We all might be in Scotland. Besides, I don't like his manner. One pound, ten shillings. One pound. One pound is ours. One pound, one pound is offered. But one pound is offered going one pound. Any advance? Well, once, and twice, mm. the third and the last call. 
One pound could get you ten dollars worth of cocaine uh, back then. Idea. Thank you. We come to the third and last of these beautiful little musical boxes. Exactly the same. Tinkle, tinkle. Isn't that lovely? Ladies and gentlemen, I don't bring you here to gully. And then Sherlock this Holmes exact bursts exact out of there and goes, no one expects the Spanish Inquisition. We're closed. But this is extremely important. Come in, sir, come in. I'm sorry to disturb you, but I was unfortunately delayed from arriving in time to bid on certain articles which I was rather anxious to obtain. Oh, perhaps they weren't sold, sir. We are carrying several things over. Uh, mm -hmm. What might the articles be, sir? At three identical musical boxes, about uh, so large. Oh, I'm sorry, sir, but they were sold. Pity you weren't here to bid on them. Uh -huh. They didn't bring anything like the real value. I'm most anxious to obtain them. I wonder if your records would show who the purchasers were. Oh, we don't usually give out that information, sir. <laughs> because, you know, say, this guy's uh, evil, definitely. I'm most anxious to get in touch with the purchasers. I'd be willing to pay, we say, uh, evil. five pounds. Well, for certain sentimental reasons, sir, we'd be very happy to oblige. Alfred, evil. Nice the three musical boxes. The musical boxes. Ah, oh. oh, here we are. The first purchase for two pounds for Mr. Julian Emery, 52. Okay, I gotta fix this screen. It's gonna bother me. Uh, no, 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 Ted, no, Ted, you, you, dummy, you ninny. You goofus. Yes. No, no, no. Still too much white on the screen, yeah. Yeah, technical difficulties. The shitty Duke Nukem voice is here to help you with your technical difficulty needs. That'll just have to do, shitty Duke Nukem. Shitty Duke Nukem here. Shitty Duke Nukem here, yeah. Why don't you eat my ass and my dick? Shitty Duke Nukem. We are groovy. Let's get back to the movie. The what Disney right? Channel movie. Let's yeah. watch a Disney Channel Second movie. Well, how unfortunate. Mm, I think she's a dealer. You see, they don't like us to know where the things are going. On account of the profits. Huh. You say the uh, second purchaser was a woman. Can you uh, give me a description of her? Oh, she was a young woman. Fairly tall, slender. Uh, a light complexion. Is this guy Sherlock Holmes? And she was wearing a... Uh, a grey suit, don't you remember? That's right. Uh, she probably runs a gift shop. Uh, she paid uh, one pound. You say she uh, comes here fairly frequently? No, I didn't say so. But she does, sir. Like as not, she'll come in on Thursday. We have sales on Mondays. And Thursday, Thursday. And the uh, third box? The third? Oh, uh, Mr. William Kilgore, 143B Hampton Way. For ten shillings. Hmm. Quite a drop from two pounds. Mr. Kilgore was a Scotchman. Oh. Well, thank you. You've, uh, you must help her. Oh, <laughs> thank you, sir. And any time you're passing, drop in. We always have lovely things for sale. How can't you? Uh, thank you. I'll uh, be back Thursday. So, yeah, is this guy Sherlock Holmes? Other questions? A message reached us too late. Musical boxes are being sold. Well, let's get out of here. What's that guy doing? Just reading his damn book? Someday you'll go too far. Reaching for a star, you fool. Yet a fool may touch a star, Colonel Kavanaugh, if he but reach high enough. But not possess it as you would. 
the musical boxes. They've been sold. What a pity for you, my dear Colonel. Is it my fault that the message reached us only an hour ago? Is it my fault that they were sold? Okay, so we are responsible for that. seven minutes into the Sherlock Holmes movie. You're right. Sherlock Holmes isn't even on the screen yet. Oh, thank God it's Sherlock Holmes in the Sherlock Holmes movie. Oh, thank God it's Sherlock Holmes in our Sherlock Holmes movie. On you tonight at a quarter to eight, a gentleman who desires to consult you upon a matter of the very deepest moment. <laughs> Do you remember that letter, Holmes? It was written over two years ago. An interesting case, devilishly interesting. Hmm. Irene Adler. That's a striking looking woman from the brief glance I had of her. Seems only yesterday. What charm. Hmm. What poise and what a mind. Sharp enough and brilliant enough to outwit the. The great Sherlock Holmes himself. I take it the new issue of the Strand magazine is out, containing another of your slightly lurid tales. Indeed. And what do you call this? Lord. Huh. I call it a scandal in Bohemia. Not a bad title, eh? Hmm. If you must record my exploits, I do wish you'd put less emphasis on the melodramatic and more on the intellectual issues involved. More on the What do you mean by that? Well, I do hope you've given. Uh, the woman, a soul. She had one, you know. By the woman, I suppose you mean Irene Adler. Yes. Yep. I shall always remember her as the woman. Mm-hmm. The woman, Cosby. The woman. Sorry. I think it. That's it, old boy. How are you? How are you, old boy? I haven't seen you for years. I want you to meet my old friend Sherlock Holmes. Holmes, this is Stinky. In other words, uh, uh, Julian Emery. How, How do you do, Mr. Emery? Emery? Oh, why? Why is his nickname Stinky? <laughs> yes, we were at school together. It's more years ago than I care to remember, but you didn't come in here just to remind me of that. No, I just happened to be in the neighborhood and saw your lights burning, so I took the liberty of looking you up. Still writing your mystery stuff? Yes, well, there's a new one out this week. <laughs> Good, I never miss him. Oh, good, thanks. I say that bandage makes you look very interesting. Still poking your nose into other people's business as usual? <laughs> Who hit you? I haven't the foggiest notion. Somebody knocked me on the head in my own living room, and then proceeded to... Yeah, I don't believe that. ...burgle you overheard out. <laughs> Fellow must have been balmy as a coot. Balmy? Why? <laughs> Come sit down, old boy. Hey. Would you... you like a cup of tea? Huh? Oh, all right. I'll go and tell Mrs. Hudson about it. Yeah. So what have you been up to, Cosby? Oh, simply from the fact that uh, with about 5,000 pounds worth of musical boxes in my living room, the thief who I caught in the act made off with one that isn't even worth five pounds. I gather you're a collector of musical boxes. Yes, I am indeed. Some of them are very beautiful, but not the one that was stolen. The thief uh, evidently grabbed the first thing that came to his hand when he heard me coming into the room. But still, it's rather odd, isn't it, that having disposed of you, he didn't pick up something more valuable. Mm -hmm. Was there anything unusual about the stolen box? No, nothing at all. Of evil? Why? I picked it up in the south of France, oh, mm. several years ago. You say you have many valuable music boxes. And yet the thief made off with one that isn't worth five pounds. Sounds like rather an intriguing little problem. <laughs> well, I take it that he was just an ordinary petty thief and didn't know the value. That is a possible explanation, and yet I venture to say that the average petty thief has a more extensive knowledge of the value of object da than the average collector. Well, anyway, that's gotten the odds theory. Mm. They didn't get very excited about it. That's consistent, anyway. I wonder if I might see your collection, Mr. Emery. Oh, of course you could, yes. Uh, nothing a collector likes more than showing off his trophies. Uh, when would it suit you? No time like the present. Good. My place is just round in Portman Square. Shall we? Yes, right. Yep. This sure is thing. Hello? Where are you going? Sticky hasn't had his tea yet. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh wait, his nickname is Sticky. I don't like that. No, sir. <laughs> now, this one was made for Louis the 15th, and is one of the very few still in existence from that period. And a particularly fine specimen of that. <laughs> oh no, it makes evil robot RT-DUTY noises. Right. Oh, 
all sound to me like a lot of mice running about on a tin roof. I'm afraid you have no ear for music, Watson. Give me a good old band playing a rousing march. You have all your silly little tweet tweets. <laughs> Why are they whistling? I'm confused. Please explain Sherlock Holmes tries to kill video entertainment thing from the, the whatever years. Seriously, I am utterly confused by what is going on. Singing rabbit. <laughs> what would you say offhand is the value of a box like that in this room, right? Well, it's hard to say offhand, but I think we'll bring about five or six hundred pounds a day. It's the gem of my collection. If a thief who steals an oddity like a musical box passes up one worth five hundred pounds for one of almost no value at all. Odd. Very odd. D what was the stolen box like, Mr. Emery? Oh, just a plain wooden box about um, so big. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, I have one over here almost exactly like it. I picked this up yesterday at an auction room in Knightsbridge. <laughs> Paid only two pounds for it. How much today? Finished cutting the trees, got groceries. The Netflix Deluxe is a nice in person, but B is still orange. That tweet is offensive. <laughs> that tweet is offensive. I just got that. I'm stupid. Yes, that's some nice whistling, Sherlock Holmes, but... Rather an unusual melody. Sit down, will Thanks. You uh, see, you bought that box at an auction sale yesterday. Yes, the Gaylord auction rooms in uh, Nicebridge. Mm -hmm. Run by old, uh, what's his name? Hot Lord! That's man. At what time is the robbery committed? Hot Lord! At, uh, three o'clock this morning. You know, Mr. Emery, that box and the robbery might well be cause and effect, mm -hmm. especially since you say that the stolen box outwardly resembles this one a great deal. And, uh,. Scotland Yard were not particularly interested, eh? Oh, yes, but I, I wouldn't blame him for that. Especially as I told him I was quite unable to describe the thief. Except, of course, for the fact that uh, it was definitely a man. All you remember is that you came in here and someone struck you on the head. Yes, the next thing I knew, my man was trying to revive me. Mm, it might be wise for you to put that box away somewhere and lock it up. <laughs> oh, I don't think that's necessary. <laughs> Besides, Does the box have go. cocaine in it? Well, at least too many further attempts at robbery. Is the made. box actually a little bit cocaine curation and someone's trying to summon pinheads so they can have well, fun times? Fun times with the Cenobites? Uh, old stinky. Seems to me you are making rather a mountain out of a mosca. Mole Hill is the word, old boy, and it's time you were in bed. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for letting us see your face. Now the bear's been glad meeting you. Holmes, I can't understand why you were so mysterious. Seems to me the petty thief explained. Don't tempt me with the idea. Oh, I'm sorry, Cosby. I don't see how you can believe it was anything else. I didn't say I believed it to be anything else. The petty thief theory is the obvious one, I grant you. However, it's often a mistake to accept something as true merely because it's obvious. The truth is only arrived at by the painstaking process of eliminating the untrue. We are not able to do that in this case without further data. Rubbish, you're pulling my leg. <laughs> you're trying to turn a... A cutting a halfpenny robbery into an international plot. No, I'm not. I just hope that your friend Stinky is a little more cautious in the future. Just I, in case. I kind of want to know why, how his friend got the nickname. More than what's what's about the the you know the music box. Like, how did he get that nickname? Was it, was it me or does he look like uh, that? The guy from Goldfinger. Yeah? Yeah? Of evil. Julian Emery here. Who? Why? <laughs> I, of course I remember you, Mrs. Courtney. <laughs> yes, you're the one bright spot that they're affording the dull affair of Lady Sanford's. <laughs> huh? Of course it isn't too late to come around. Yes, I should be delighted to give you a drink. I tell you what. Come straight up, and I'll leave the door unless. Dun dun uh, dun! <laughs> I shall be counting each moment. <laughs> so he's getting the uh, 1940s equivalent of a booty call. I guess he's getting the 1940s equivalent of a booty call. Oh. oh, 
he startled me. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> yes. Must be the pixie in me. <laughs> I know I shouldn't have called you so late. But I was at a party just around the corner. And I remembered your invitation to see your collection of musical boxes. She's going to do something like bonk him on the head or kill him or something. My friends call me Hilda. <laughs> Thanks. Mine call me Stinky. Stinky, how quaint. Oh, what a perfectly wonderful collection of musical boxes. You know, when you told me you had a collection, I had no idea it was so attractive. Yes. Cosby, I like to imagine this is what would happen if we showed girls our Transformers collections. Oh, what a plain little one. Why, it looks just like a country cousin amid all this grandeur. No, 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 you mustn't underestimate the country cousin. I only last night a burger broke in here, and with all these to choose from, went off with one very much like it. Really? Yes, I don't mind the loss of the box so much. But I do resent this crack on the skull. But it makes you look so interesting. <laughs> oh, do you think so? Uh -huh. <laughs> it's funny, that's what old Fatso said. Fatso? I mean, uh, Dr. Watson. He was here this evening with a friend, a Mr. Holmes. He's interested in my collection, too. Sherlock Holmes? Yes. Do you know him? I've heard of him. Yes, he, he seems to think I'm in some sort of... Uh, <laughs> what a haunting tune. It takes Your me presentations right are time. engaging. Really? You know, it's hard that you should be interested in that particular musical. Oh, no, someone's coming after uh, Stinky's booty. He may have been more interested in the tune than in the box. I hear you, that's right. I remember now, he whistled it note for note, having heard it only once. Really? He must be a remarkable man. <laughs> Bit of an alarmist, if you ask me. Don't you believe in warnings? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> Who'd want a box like that? I would. You're not serious. Oh, but I am. Well, you, you put me in a very awkward position. I'm a collector, you know. And the collector buys, but never sells. But if the price were high enough... <laughs> the price has nothing to do with it. It's the principle of the thing. <laughs> yes, well, we haven't had our drink. No, thanks. I must be getting along. Must you, really? I'm afraid so. You're well, out on me, his I? 40s booty call failed him. <laughs> I say, you know, you are an attractive woman. Thanks. Oh no, he's dead. Stinky is dead. You fool. I told you to wait outside. Stinky is dead. <laughs> All I had to do was walk out with this. He held you in his arms. Don't touch him. Don't touch anything. Stinky is dead. I'm sorry. You're sorry. What about me? This is murder. What about Scotland Yard? What about Sherlock Holmes? Now yeah. Get out! Yeah, you kind of fucked yourself, uh, random... random henchman. You kind of fucked yourself. Now Sherlock Holmes is going to be after your booty, and that's just gonna end badly. Now Sherlock Holmes is gonna come after you, and you're, you're fucked. You're fucked, dude. Did you get it? Good. Did you have any uh, trouble with him? Just a matter of murder. Murder? Ah, Mr. Holmes. Hopkins. Thanks for coming so promptly. Inspector Lestrade suggested that I call through to you. Mr. Emery was a client of Mr. Holmes, Inspector. Indeed. You didn't mention that when I telephoned you, Mr. Holmes? Well, not exactly a client, Inspector. Dodge and Thompson? He was killed between the hours of 11 and 2 o'clock this morning, Mr. Holmes. Hmm. Must have been someone he knew, someone of whom he had no suspicion. Poor old Stinky. It's all my fault. I should have prevented this. Well, there's no time to start talking I about feel like you now. should not call him Stinky when he's dead. I feel like that's kind of disrespectful of the dead, you know? on the musical box that Emery bought at the auction sale. And this time it was successful. But that box was only worth two pounds. It was worth a man's life, Watson. I think we'd better pay a visit to Gaylord's auction room and that fellow Crabtree. Inspector, may I suggest that you make a complete search of this flat for a small, plain, musical box about that size? Thank you. Come on, Watson. You say the first box went to Mr. Julian Emery, the second to Mr. Kilgore, 143 B Hampton Way, and the third to the unidentified young lady who presumably has a shop and lives near Golders Green. That's right, Mr. Holmes. Isn't it rather strange, Mr. Crabtree? You should have had three identical musical boxes, all playing the same tune. Where'd they come from? Dartmoor Prison. Dartmoor? Yeah, we get a regular shipment from there every month. 
the inmates manufactured them. Well, they make all kinds of things, you know, pipe racks, waste paper baskets, musical boxes. Did you happen to notice if anyone showed any particular interest during the auction in the purchases of these three boxes? So the boxes have some kind of um, code or message in them, don't they? Well, since you put it that way, Mr. Holmes, there was a gentleman came in here about an hour after closing time, and he was in an <sighs> That guy's bald spot's going to be me in like ten in years, box, isn't it? Oh, box. good. A sentimental value for him, sir. Hmm, expensive sentiment. Can you describe him? He was tall, distinguished looking, and he had gray hair and a moustache. He was quite a gentleman, sir. Of evil? What was his reaction when you were unable to supply him with the address of the young lady who owned the shop? I told him the young lady usually come back on Thursday. He said he'd come back on Thursday. You know, that's tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Crabtree. You've been very Love helpful. Evil. Thank you. Come along, Watson. Where are we going now, Holmes? To the home of Mr. Kilgore, the man who bought the third box. They're going to find Kilgore dead, aren't How they? How do you know those other two musical boxes are of any importance? I don't, but I certainly have no intention of waiting until the owners are murdered to find out. No one at home. I'm sorry, dude. I'll have a look through this window. Do you want me to, um, question, question, do you want me to start skipping through things? Do you, the subject of this sentence, want me to start skipping through some shit? If you're not all that interested. I'll let you, the people, decide. i rather just go over the zanier movie. This is too dry. Fair enough. Um, One moment, then. I will uh, get a zanier movie right away. Just um, give me a second to uh, BRB. And we will get a uh, zanier movie. Zanier <laughs> A, B, C. It's easy as one, two, three. All right, me. One, two, three. With me Okay, Cosby, what would you rather watch? Would you rather watch Goldface, the Fantastic Superman, or um, Shin Kamen Rider? Which one sounds more interesting to you? Which one sounds more interesting to you? Goldface, the Fantastic Superman, or Shin Kamen Rider? Rider, I will let you decide. Yes, Cosby, that is the one where he is that thing. Yes, Cosby, that is the one where he is that thing. Okay. Movie night. Shit. Common. Brainer. Do 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 do
do do do do do do do do do do do do Okay, next up is, uh, well, Shin Kamen Rider. Let's see if this is any decent. 20th anniversary movie. Groovy. Ooh, I don't like that noise. That gooey, gooey, squishy noise. Oh no, it's a monster. I've seen it off hentai, I don't know what's going on. Oh. Oh, well, that's... Slightly more wholesome than what I thought was going to happen. Ooh, funky music. So is Common Rider just gonna come for people's booties? Oh no, the police are after Common Rider's booty. Well, I guess it makes sense that he can jump really far because, you know, he's a grasshopper man and everything. But why would a grasshopper man want to kill people? Wouldn't he, like, be a vegetarian? Oh, thank goodness I had that dream again where I was a giant grasshopper man. Her name's I. Yeah. She was a showgirl. She had a yellow ribbon in her hair and a dress way all down there. Man, the world has gotten weird since Corona. Institute of Super Science Technology! I want to go to the Institute of Super Science Technology and tell them to bring back the dinosaurs. I'm sorry. They're probably working on more important things, like, I don't know, curing cancer, or giving people the ability to squat thrust a billion pounds. Cure for morning breath. I don't know, I'm sorry. 
Why is it every morning you wake up and your breath smells awful? Ask me this, science. Give me an answer. I want to know, I'm sorry. Well, at least the music is funky. At least the music is funky, I'm sorry. My throat's really hurting, that's a good sign. Captain! Gentlemen, I brought you for here for one reason. Evil! Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. Oh, hey, it's the guy who created Kamen Rider. And Super Sentai and a whole bunch of other things. And yeah, his weird afro. Level 1 is the さまざまな病原菌を確実に排除できるよう食事や酵素による療法が取られています。レベル2では人工抗体の投与などによって強化された細胞の保全維持を図ります。しかしそれはあくまでも予防的な治療ですね。先天的にすでに病原に侵された細
Why is the nurse getting the coffee? I ain't her job. She got a medical degree just like them. Salt, have I ever told you the story of Dark Plague the Wise? <laughs> the grasshopper. Now I just want to see Kamen Rider punch some Jedi's. So apparently, apparently, uh, you want spoilers because I got spoiled on the episode of The Mandalorian. So do you want spoilers for this, Cosby? Because the internet spoiled it for me. Apparently Luke Skywalker shows up at the most recent episode of The Mandalorian and he basically just shits on Rey and it's great. He's like, talent is nothing without training or something like that. He says that, like, talent is nothing without training. I'm Luke Skywalker and I get to say that now. Cosby, if we ever meet, can we have music like this playing in the background? Can we have, like, I don't know, metal in the background and weird people exercising? Wait, really? That's how it worked? Well, that's kind of... True, Cosby, true. <laughs> Why is there music so epic for this? Seriously, why is the music so epic for this? Oh, it's going to turn out his dream was right.
I'm the beast. Oh. Dun dun dun. I guess finding out that you're a murderous grasshopper man would be kind of weird. Is it me or does she just look like she's tired of all this bullshit? I'm sorry. What? The what? Yeah, this is totally not an evil plot or something. Yeah, this is totally not an evil plot or something. They really don't play music like this for in Nakiwa skies just going about their days. I think this movie was a box office bomb because, you know, people wanted a funny haha -ha Kamen Rider movie instead. They got this weird Kamen Rider movie instead. But now it's But now it's been um more appreciated by the Kamen Rider fan base apparently. So people have grown to like it over time from my understanding. People, yeah, it's sort of like that, I guess. This guy is up to something evil. You don't have a weird, you know, satanic laboratory if you're not up to something evil. It would have been Cosby, but people wanted more Michael Myers, apparently. They just did not want whatever Halloween 3 was selling them at the time. Which is a shame, because, you know, it is what it is, though. Also, apparently, people didn't like the fact that it didn't have a witch in it. People were mad, apparently, because it was called Season of the Witch and it didn't have a witch in it.
Oh no, is he gonna digivolve? Oh no, here come the jesters, one, two, three, it's a part of my fantasy. It would be, but I don't know if we could get away with that, with the copyrighted music and everything, Cosby. You know, we're the kids in America! Oh! We're the kids! We're the kids! Can he, can he just digivolve? Oh yeah, definitely, I'm sorry. Finally, we have Common Rider in our Common Rider movie. I feel like they spent all of their money on the Karate Bugmen and not on the blood effects. In my scientific opinion, they are dead. Did he say Suna or Sana? Oh no, our plan of evil! Yeah, she just looks dead on the inside. She did not want to be in this common writer movie. But she was, and now she can't live, and now she has to live with it. Tell me the bug formula is where exactly is the good point. Punch him! Morimoto is a person who 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 is a person だから、そうなるかもしれないから黙ってたんだ、今まで。けど、けどもう限界だ。教えてください。あなたなら知ってるはずだ、鬼塚先生。俺が、俺がどうなっちまったのか、教えてください。さあ、何を言ってるのかわ
telepathy. Grasshopper telepathy. Grasshopper telepathy. It would—it does really feel like something that would be in a Godzilla movie now, wouldn't it, Cosby? ソルジャーなのだ。神に勝利し、国家を守る兵士、ソルジャーなのだ。神に勝利し、国家を復活させる。これこそ真の科学の仕事だ。そのためには私もそして勤務を自らを投げ打つ覚悟はなくてはいか
Man, this movie has a lot of gunfights. Yep. Oh, hey, Snow Eyebrows guy. Yeah. Yeah. This really does not seem like common writer for the common writer audience. No, no, the power of insect telepathy and no oh, eyebrows! Can we just get to the karate bugman? Service. Mm, fan service. Mm, fan service. One second, one second, one second. Just gotta make sure. Okay, just in case. Just in case. Sensorosaurus is here because I couldn't find Sensor Kong. And the Sensorosaurus will be there to help us just in case Sensor need anything. I'm sorry. <laughs> Glup. Hi. Hi. Bingo. Yapari Kodata. Yuki. Cosby, do you want me to start skipping around? Because this is starting to bore me. I don't got the attention span for this kind of bullshit right now. I just want to see a guy punch some guys with his funny bug man powers. Yeah, this is- I'm just sorry, this is not it. Not for me, my dude. Oh no, it's no eyebrow, man.
You know what? Yeah, let's do the robotics movie tomorrow. Robotics! 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 We are 48 minutes into this movie, and we've only barely seen what Kamen Rider looks like in our Kamen Rider movie. No, oh no, the bug telepathy. Oh, thank fuck. Your fellow grasshopper man is dying, Common Rider. You must save him. Okay, this is probably where all the money from the movie went to, this. This bit right here. Mind meld. <laughs> Grasshopper telepathy. I don't know, Cosby. Random no eyebrows guy. I think no eyebrows guy is invulnerable, so you know. Yeah, get him, Common Rider. This is what we wanted to see. Common Rider versus some supervillains.
Ouch. Kamen Rider's getting his ass handed to him by this guy, whatever he is. Captain Jabroni, man. Oh, well, I guess Captain Jabroni Man isn't immune to the missile. Fear not, citizen, it was I, Kamen Rider, superhero, and, uh, also hideous grasshopper monster man. But, you know, I'm a good guy. Quick, to the Common Rider Motorcycle! <laughs> Citizen, I need your help. This common raider looks cool. She still looks dead on the inside. I tried to contact him to get some valuable information. Oh, English. But I didn't think he'll be one of them. Just a moment. Dozo. English! The language of evil! I know that. But he can still reason, like a human being. He helped me. Probably. The cause is a variation level, and his human nature. For further investigation, we should change our plan to capture him. But, uh... I understand. So, I'm. I'm just gonna continue to the fighting. To the fight ten. Toki ni wa me ni mieru buzuri teki na nikutai no sonshou nado nado. Sore ra no kou ni yotte kiken o satchi. Kono iya ba kyoutsu no gizu taikun ga shu no dankesu to hanei o tamotte iku. これは。俺は。どうなっちまうんだ、これから。帰れねえよ。君が眠っている間に検査した。間違いない。死んだ。おお、ノー、シン。商品サンプルであろう水かが死んで、正直我々は途方に暮れた。だが今は。シンとその子供である。ニュータンと。素晴らしい。そう、that <笑> This is gonna be like the fly where. Is this gonna be like the fly where the baby is like 
I'm confused. Uh, that would be your baby, dude. So him and the baby have grasshopper telepathy with each other. Like, sh sh should we allow this mutant baby to live? Should we allow this new human species to live on our Earth? I mean, it's a baby, so it doesn't, you know, it's not really, you know, guilty of anything. Besides being a baby. But, you know, one mutant child and, you know, he has... <laughs> Superhuman strength, and he's uh, well, I mean, he's telepathic with his father. That's something. Dude, you have a motorcycle! Kishin got skimash taga hagase. So no hana shiwatota. Dosta. Dosta. Dai ni shiro to itara dada. Hayaki shan ni seta wai. Agro. Yeah, but the problem is, well, this, oh no, the baby is magic. So, the baby has some kind of telekinetic powers. Not just full on telepathy, but actual fucking telekinesis. So. So, I guess. We're going to have a race of supermen. Robert around the earth punching people with their well telekinetic powers and super strength. That might be the case. Yeah, I guess so. Right?
Oh, here come the gestures. One, two, three. Oh, you're fucked, dude. All of them must be finished. Oh no, she's speaking language of evil. さ、帰っ Oh no. Oh no, she's dead. I guess the baby's dead too. In the arms of the angels. Well, he's fucked. Not only did he kill the girl he loves, but he also killed this baby. You're you're fucked, dude. I hope you've enjoyed life. he could do is rip off his fucking head or something.
Yeah, kill him! Get him, Common Rider! I don't think he can reason with him. I mean, you did just kill his wife and possibly his child. I, I think you, I think you you go back, dude. I think your head's going to be off your shoulders very soon. Well. You got a point there. Also, uh, Common Rider's costume really isn't a costume. The fact is that he's a cyborg. Except for the helmet. The helmet is not a part of his co part of his, like, cybernetic body. That's why, like, that's why, like, Common Rider has, like, superhuman strength and the ability to, like, leap incredible distances and, you know, is... And, you know... Can bend steel... It's because he's a cyborg, and the helmet is the mask he wears. At least it's giving us a good final boss fight or two. Round two, Common Rider versus whatever this guy is. What thing did they use to make him, though, I wonder? Is he some kind of, I don't know, Mantis Man of some sort? He looks like he's some kind of, like, I don't know... I don't know what he looks like, exactly. Maybe some kind of armored insect or something like that. Yeah, Cicada looks about right. Cicada man. I don't know, it's probably just to make him look cool. Oh, the more I look at him, the more he looks like a robot. Maybe he's a robot. Rest in peace, uh, random cyborg jabroni. I don't know, he's, he's blood. Oh, he's still alive!
Oh no, he's a bomb! Wow, that's one... That's one hell of a way to fuck you. That's one fuck you. I guess you're, if you're gonna try to- if you're gonna die, you're gonna blow up your enemy with you is one hell of a fuck you at the end. Quick, to the common Raider Mobile! Yeah, that was pretty awesome. I didn't see it coming. I think Common Rider is pretty fucked here. Zanendoshi, Oh, hey, Deus Ex Helicopter. I think it's... I think it's dead. It has to be, right? This final isn't fucking around, at least. Rest in peace, helicopter pilot. You will be missed. You... You have an incredibly good point there. You have an incredibly good point. So, I guess he's gotta raise this mutant child by his own. Good thing he's telepathic with it. Good thing he's telepathic with the baby so he can just 
read its mind. Well, I mean, at least you know what your child wants from you at all times. Uh, father, unfortunately, I have shit myself. And I cannot change my own diapers. Even though I have the intellect to understand that I have pooped myself, unfortunately, I don't have the ability to change my own diapers. Could you please do this for me? Thank you. Being a super intelligent person as a baby would kind of suck because you really couldn't do anything on your own. Well, that ends the uh, stream. I'd like to thank you all for coming. Uh, thank you for coming to movie night. It means a lot to me. Shin Last Rider was kind of a mixed bag in my humble onion. That's it. Thank you. Bye.